okay, and at least we got to the confirmation of the person showing that the confirmation dictates how the foot's going to land. Yeah. Does the same thing with a horse. You got bow legged people, you got knock kneed people, you got cow hock people, or towed out or towed in. But all that starts in time. Exactly. So we've got to go back. We're going to go back to show a few confirmation horses, basically the same, similar. You've got knock knee, bowed in, bow leg, everything just basically the same. All right, now we've come to the point where the confirmation dictates how the foot strikes the ground. So let's go to this baby. Okay, this is a yearling's foot, mm -hmm. and we've got marks there to show where the flare. One, this is the same baby. You got two feet. One of it was improperly trimmed. The other one was, it was a right-handed shoe. I can tell who. Now we've got to the point we tell you right-handed, left-handed, how the horse is trimmed. Right. Because you miss that same spot. So if you look at this one foot, it's more symmetrical. It's, it's more like he was the day he was born. It's not out of gazelle. If you look on the other foot, you can see how straight the wall is getting. And, it, and the foot's starting to get square. So if you look right there from between those two lines, how thick it is from the quarter to the buttress. That's a hard place for a fairy to get on if they're right-handed. Right right okay. And now, a left-handed person would be on the opposite <laughs> foot, and they miss that flare. Uh -huh. See, a horse flare, he does not flare on the toe. And so when you take a toe off, you shorten it. See, you've got him out because it's the same thickness when you look at his foot. It's the same thickness from the hairline to the ground surface. So by rest, the only time you take any toe off if you had a low heel. But in reality, you should put wedge him up you should never take a toe off a horse if he's got low heel you should wedge him up and the horse owner you, i think farriers need to explain this to the horse owner mm -hmm. because i think they deserve to know what their horse needs well you're explaining it all to me and i'm a horse owner right but you have a dvd out the grammar shoe of horse or Correct. grammar school of horse shoeing yeah this dvd is available to everybody oh sure not it's just free. a farrier yeah, it's, so it's free all they have to do is pay postage and handle and watch the dvd and ask questions to tell you it, what it does it gives it goes through it it got a lot of illustration it tells a horse owner where you're going why you're going it shows how it works it gives the horse owner some the knowledge. grammar school part right and a lot of the knowledgeable farriers are coming from here all over the world I mean, certified journeymen in the AFA, you got certified. And they are learning the grammar school part because right. they, they, they jumped into college before they got in grammar school. It is very important to know your grammar school, where you're going, because if you don't know where you're going, in reality, you're lost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we've got that part, okay? So let's go to the horse. Now, when you see the horse running on the treadmill, okay, barefooted versus shoeing, look at the heat. You can see it does the same identical things it did to Link. The foot, there's no shoe, completely heats up really fast. Okay, well, that can happen if you're going barefoot. Think about getting out on the hot pavement going barefoot. Yeah. I bet them calluses come yeah. off pretty quick. <laughs> it's the same principle, friction. Okay, so if you ride a horse and you're using that horse, you should take care of that horse. If you run into a vent like you, and mm -hmm. we show some shots of you, running your barrel and you really have to keep your horse exercised you're having problems right. with a young horse now simply because the problem starts from birth and when you start trimming you've got to take care of that horse if you're going to use it for athlete like a person that's fed right exercise right and the most important part is the hoof that's that is the horse it's carrying the entire weight and so when that hoof gets hot it wears really quick where he's in florida arizona it makes a difference where he's at Mm -hmm. If you run him barefoot, he's going to get hot. When that hoof gets hot, it's going to wear out quicker. So the horse does the same identical thing as that shoe. When you look at the shoe, you see that heel wore down. Yeah. Well, the confirmation is going to dictate how that foot's going to strike. And, and gang, what is really wrong is people in veterinary business, in the uh, horse training, and what's causing that? is horseshoers. Nobody likes to get in front of a crowd of people talk. Very few people got a mouth like mine. Just me and you. That's right. <laughs> so the whole point is, gang, it is up to you. If you own a horse, it's like a baby having a child. You have to get some literature to see how to take care right. if you never had a child. You and need have the some information help. available. Exactly, and correct information. Mm -hmm. So, gang, we encourage you to check this DVD out that we're offering. It's free. You pay for Posted the shipping and it, posted and handling. I, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's not very much. Right. And you're getting thousands of dollars worth of information because it took thousands and well, thousands of dollars. it's giving you knowledge to ask questions. You bet. And understand. <laughs> and if you're a farrier, you know, it, it behooves me that farriers don't come down here, a lot of them, 
and continue their education. And it's up to you folks as the horse owner, it is up to you to check your farrier out and even medical doctors are saying, yeah, get a second, second opinion. Because I found out one thing about doctors, you got dumb doctors, you got smart doctors. So, <laughs> hey gang, we just tickled to be with you. Hope you enjoyed the show and we're gonna be back next week right here on Horseshoe and Time. We'll be here on University House. And don't forget to check us out. We're gonna be out in Dodge City the 30th, the th July 30th, 30th 31st, 31st and 1st. August the 1st. I hope I get to see you out there, gang. Come up and tell me hello. Yeah, Say hey to all of us. And you remember, know. a happy horse makes Gotta a make happy, a happy owner. One. Beat him to it. <laughs> <laughs>